January 2nd. This is my fourth video, I believe, on cooking and nutrition. Well, not really. The nutrition aspect is still coming to me. I have chosen to do hummus. Uh, I think that hummus is a really awesome food and it's cheap, it's healthy, it helps you it helps you incorporate more vegetables into your diet and overall it's just especially with most of us getting into the new year and want in in um what's what's the word for it and trying to make these like health and fitness goals happen uh i think that learning how to make a make hummus would be beneficial for a lot of people and i personally love homemade hummus uh, there are some good store-bought brands but if you know how to do it yourself and you're in a pinch you can't go to the grocery store but you have a can of chickpeas you can just blitz it up real quick and here's how all you need is chickpeas i bought the brand goya can you see it goya it's really great uh, a lemon, some garlic, really awesome olive oil that you can get at Fred Meyers right now. Uh, it's organic. It's by Carpella. I think I spent 12 bucks on it. Uh, Himalayan sea salt. You can get that at the grocery outlet. Um, you don't have to get it at Fred Meyers. And it was super cheap. Or Winco. Um, or you want the garlic. Rosemary. I'm on, I want to flavor my hummus today with rosemary. So here we go. So what are you going to do? Uh, here I place my chickpeas in the strainer. I just give them a little rinse. Get all that bean juice off. And over here, my boyfriend bought me this really handy dandy uh, food processor. And it's just an immersion blender. Here's the actual, the bottom bit. But with the stem, um, the control part, it actually has a food processor attached to it. So that's my food processor. It's kind of cool, actually. Like it's, it also works as a blender because it's got like a blender cup. I love it. Anyway, so you're gonna put your chickpeas in here. You're gonna do one medium-sized clove of garlic. Oh, uh, like two sprigs of rosemary that you stole from your neighbor's garden. Okay, it's not really stealing if it's growing on the sidewalk, right? Um, salt, I'm going to do about a teaspoon of Himalayan pink sea salt, and we're going to do another couple of tablespoons of lemon with my a handy dandy juicer. have in the kitchen I think it's underused in the American kitchen it's such a such a versatile delicious thing you can just put it the juice in your soups and your sauces um okay so I got my chickpeas and garlic we're gonna do about three tablespoons of lemon juice one two Oh, that was perfect um and then we're gonna do four tablespoons of olive oil I'm running out of this stuff i need to get some more three i'm using a neutral uh, a neutral tahini for this. This is also going in my hummus. I don't think I mentioned it before. Okay, so just give it a little mix. Doing about a tablespoon. Keep this in your fridge. It'll keep forever. Yeah. 
into about a quarter cup of water. And now you're ready to blend. Just like that. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little more lemon juice because I think that I like my hummus just a little more tart. So a little. A pinch more salt. Mm -hmm. A little more rosemary too. <laughs> Serve this crudite and hummus with any vegetable and any falafel. So, if you like this video, please drop it a comment below. Um, I love doing stuff like this. I like swapping ideas. If you have any questions on how to make this dish or others like it or something brand new, please drop a comment below because I love cooking. This is why I do this. I like to share, I like to talk, I like to swap ideas. I think you do too, and I think you do too, and that's why we're all here, is to, to learn and grow and, and eat really good food. Until next time, I'll see you later.